good morning. If you haven't seen the last video, my friend Tyler and I are, my friend Tyler and I are staying out on this island. Um, not a very big island, but it's a nice island out on this lake up here in uh, New Hampshire. It was a rough night last night. It was raining on and off like the whole night, and I got quite soaked. As you saw, where the tent was, it was kind of like, I was like half in, half out, and the rain came in like half, and hit like half of my body the whole night. And it wasn't very good, it was cold, but uh, it wasn't that bad. I actually got maybe three or four hours of sleep last night, which I guess isn't great, but it's not terrible either. Tyler, he's still dead. I haven't even heard anything from him this morning. He's still probably sleeping, I'm not sure. But the uh, fire is completely out. Everything was rained and soaked, so every bit of wood on here is all wet, so uh, definitely need to go on a fire run with my kayak. I'm gonna head to that shoreline over that way and uh, see if I can find any good firewood because we don't have any on this island because we already used it all, so. This reel was sitting in water the whole night. Not good. Hopefully I don't need new bearings and stuff, but that's for later. But hey, definitely a beautiful sight to wake up in. And also loons were our wake up call around, around six o'clock this morning. The loons are out. And it's currently uh, 7.47. Tyler has a walk in. I'm awake now. How'd you sleep? Um, sort of hard. For a couple stumps and logs here and there, but you know, it's over pretty good. You know what? That was funny. Half of my body was wet, half of it was dry the whole night. It was raining on half of me. And I scooch over based on the top of you. You notice that? And I was still getting wet, and so I like slid down, and I was like, it was a big pain. Uh, definitely next time I'm going to be making sure there's something over the sides. Over the sides? Yeah, Just because like I was getting wet. <laughs> I'm chilly. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. It rained quite a bit last night, so Kind of difficult to find some drier wood, but I'm just trying to find some stuff that's kind of underneath a bunch of big trees that's standing up, like right here. This branch right here that's all dead should be. It's all damp, but I could carve off some of the bark and probably have some decent wood to burn.
Now we're boiling up some water to use for our spaghetti with meat sauce and beef stew packets. Spaghetti with meat sauce expired six years ago. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's not bad. What I'm confused about is the pack we had last night expires in like 2048 or something. And this expired 2013, which means I think they just slapped a coat on there just because they had to. Oh yeah, so we're gonna cook mine up now. Some beef stew. Looks like dog food, but you know, we're gonna eat that. How did these people make this so good? Okay, now Tyler and I are gonna head out on the lake for many hours and we're gonna try to catch some fish. I'm using Tyler's kayak for now. He's using my kayak. I haven't used a nice kayak like this before, so I'm excited. Okay, we officially made it out onto the water. We're gonna do some fishing now. I'm gonna pick up my swim jig first. I think this is probably a good choice. Tyler's got a fish on. But nice. Oh my goodness, I got a fish on. What is this thing? It's large mouth bass. Oh! Oh my goodness, it took so long. Hours of fishing. Don't go off. Yes! Yes, finally another fish. Yes! It took so many hours of fishing and I fished a drop shot through these rocks that are in front of me. We got another one. Yes! This probably like maybe a pound and a half or so. It's a nice fish. The fishing's been absolutely terrible. Finally caught ourselves a nice bass, about a pound and three quarters I'd say, maybe a pound and a half. Nice one on the drop shot. It took a very long time. I'm so happy to catch this fish. Let's throw it back. Nice one. Thank you so much. Yes. And I'm about to drift straight to the shoreline. I'm going pretty fast. I better put this thing away. All right, so I didn't film any of this because it was kind of boring, but we packed up everything, put the tarp away, picked up all of our stuff and of our trash. So the last thing right here is this water, which you don't need all this, so I might dump some out. Probably good. And uh, we're just taking off now. That's it. We're off the island for good. Yeah, Wonderful know. night in the rain. Honestly, it feels a little bit warmer without rain. I feel like we'd have an amazing night of sleep, but we didn't. And now we're gonna fish our way back and hopefully catch a bass or two, or maybe a fish, because yeah. it's been terrible. We fished for probably like seven hours, we caught total two fish. The wind is blowing the opposite direction, which makes it twice as difficult to paddle. And look, I'm going backwards right now. All the progress that it's made is gone. Ah. We made it. It's like definitely twice as long to get back as it was to get to the island because of the wind. It was brutal. But we're back. My arms are jello.
Holy buckets. That was a nice ride. Glad that's done. Oh, what a kayak paddle that was. That was a doozy. I'm gonna feel that one tomorrow. That was a wonderful night. We've been here for about 24 hours, right? Almost, probably like 22 hours or so. Well, that's it for the a little mini island camping series. Hopefully you liked it. I loved it. Definitely gonna do it again when I get the chance. Leave a like if you liked it because I'll probably do some more. If you haven't seen day one where we got to the island, be sure to check that out. Linked in the top of the, the description as well as up in the corner here. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.